that's what you call a family. Lovely family portrait. Okay, terrific stuff. Now then, in just a few minutes' time, the big one, Comic Relief, follows us here on BBC One. And across the South East, you've all been doing your bit to raise money on Red Nose Day. Thank you for that. In Brighton, this big red bowl has been slowly filling up next to the BBC Southern Counties radio bus. In Tunbridge... Red Nose Day <laughs> Staff and students at West Kent College today put on their best red gear to raise money. And in Sean Wood Country Park near Gravesend, yum yum, they've been baking up comic relief cakes. Red, red Nose, Nose Day! Day. <laughs> Thanks to all of you for all your efforts. That's great. But alas, the fun is over for actor Sean Williamson from Faversham, yes. who bowed out of comic relief, does Fame Academy last night. Polly Evans has been to meet up with him. <clears throat> Still in fine voice after a gruelling fortnight. We'll do it all, everything. But Sean Williamson's Fame Academy dream came to an end last night. I don't feel too disappointed about last night at all, really. For me, the experience really was uh, life-changing in, in, in many ways, particularly and mostly to, to do with my my singing, because before I went in, I, I thought I had a, a very good voice, and you actually discover actually that um, it had a lot of defects to it. Sometimes the judges, particularly Richard, could be very harsh. How did you cope with that? I was lucky in that I, I didn't get too much uh, personal abuse. The judges are there to provide some form of pantomime villain entertainment. I didn't think that song suited you. Unfortunately, I think you had breathing problems doing it as well. It was a little bit, a little bit breathy and edged into a little bit croaky as well for me. So I honestly don't think I could have done any more. What you see is what you got. I'm playing the main character. Really? Are you sure? Cause That's the sort of candour that won Sean his most recent television acting role well, in Ricky Gervais's comedy obvious, Extras, happy to send himself up as Barry yeah, from no, EastEnders. I'm playing the lead character. Are you sure, though? Because he's really versatile. Do you know what I mean? Sure and I'm, not, I'm not sure what it is you can do, but, you know, Barry can do all sorts. Do you serious? You do love me, Janine. You do. I know you do. Eh? Do you, comical? Get off! He's a singer as well. Mustang Sally! Extras really put me back on primetime television, so that's been fantastic for me. So when the second series dropped on the doormat and I started flicking through the scripts and I was in all six and got to work with people like David Bowie, it was absolutely fantastic. I'm going to leave this academy with many things, hopefully a better voice. But he says it's Fame Academy that has changed his life. To finish third is, is a... A huge buzz for me, and I just hope that they've raised a fortune. And Sean will be back in the studio tonight to help them raise even more. Polly Evans, BBC South East Today, Faversham. Well, exciting stuff. Poor old Sean, but it's, uh, it's going to be good tonight. Uh, the programme's starting uh, in just a few minutes' time. And uh, this is it. This is what's, uh, this is what's wow. happening right now in their studio. They're rehearsing. They're winding up the audience. Uh, Radio Kent have got a special programme on as well. Uh, oh, look, there's Roger Twiggy Ooh. Day. Hello, Roger, with his red nose. <laughs> They're marvellous stuff. He's doing a special programme tonight. Tune into everything and enjoy it. <laughs> nice of you to wear your red nose, by the day. Um, let's catch up with the weather now with Cathy. <laughs> Hi, can you imagine waking up this morning, opening the curtains and seeing this huge chunk of metal outside? It is, of course, HMS Chatham, 150 metres long, and it was just cruising off into the dockyard where it's going to be staying just for the weekend. So Gus saw that out his window this morning, but also all that sunshine. I'm afraid there's just one day of sunshine left before winter comes and slaps us in the face again. It is going to be turning much, much colder from Sunday on. Onwards, frosty nights as well and any showers that fall could well be of the snow variety don't think much would settle though a lot of it will just melt but it certainly is going to be an icy and cold week for next week